Hi all, this is Joel Kruiswick. I'm coming to you today with a message about using Jira with GitLab. And I figured I'd start here in Jira and just give you an idea of how Jira issues can play along with GitLab from a development perspective. So first and foremost, you see here, we've got a basic Kanban board inside of Jira. And each of these issues is obviously available for development. And you can see here, we've got one in development, one in progress, a few in the backlog. I'd like to show you a little different way to go about leveraging your work via GitLab while it resides as a system of record inside of JIRA. Okay, so let me hop over here. I've got a project inside of GitLab and I've already done the connections. Now, if you're looking for a setup video, this isn't it. There's others out there that show you how to set up the DVCS connector for JIRA and how to set up uh, the integrations between the two. But the thing I do wanna point out today is the integrations. When you go into the integrations for JIRA, okay, within this, we now have a box that not only you can enable the integration here, uh, but if I scroll down, you see we can enable JIRA issues. And this is where the workflow changes a bit. So you can see I've already enabled those JIRA issues. And when I did that, that means that over here on the left-hand side, we now have JIRA issues as part of the GitLab experience. So when I go to the issue list, it actually shows me the issues from that Kanban board that I showed you at the start right here inside of GitLab. Now, I can't go into the details of that yet, okay? But what I can do is I can access any of these issues directly. So I mentioned before, hit a couple of issues that were in progress and, and available for development. So if I click on this, it's gonna take me over to the Jira issue itself. Now, as we get into this issue, what you'll see is any activity related to the work being done in GitLab. So uh, let's take a look here. You see we've got in development, we've got a branch and a pull request that are listed here. Uh, what this looks like from the GitLab side is a merge request. So what we did is we created a branch, started a merge request, and you can see here that it's in flight. I put a, a label on it about it being JIRA related. And you can see that this, when it's done, will close the issue in JIRA. And the key here is when I'm creating something, I include that JIRA ID in the branch name, in the commit messages, in the merge request itself. That is a trigger to make sure that that information gets back to JIRA. Same thing with comments and anything else that we're gonna put in here that we want to feed back into the JIRA issue. We wanna make sure that that ID is front and center. But what you can see is we have a merge request that's active here. We've got a commit, we've got some changes that have been put in place. We've got an active branch. Those are the things that are showing up here, okay? So if I click on this, you see this is, it shows the pull request. That is the name of the merge request inside of GitLab. And again, I have an easy click through to bring me back to GitLab if I'm looking at that within Jira. Uh, but the idea here is I've got visibility to the Jira issue list. I've got the ability to transition issue states from GitLab and any of the development activity I have within GitLab is now sent back to the development panel within JIRA. Now it's of note here that this is a GitLab premium offering requirement, okay? So premium or silver offering with GitLab is required before you can get all that functionality from the connector. However, uh, what's nice about this is I now have that visibility to the JIRA issues. So I've got the context, I've got the JIRA issue connector right here showing me the status of those issues inside of JIRA. And I can now quickly move into the development within GitLab from GitLab. I never have to leave the UI. Okay, that's it for today. Thanks for watching.